Hello and welcome today to this Real Women, Real Purpose talk show live in the On Purpose Woman Global Community Facebook group. I'm Catherine Yarbrough and I'm your show's host today, one of the two hosts of the Real Women, Real Purpose talk show, a co and I'm also a co-leader in the On Purpose Woman Global Community and the creator of the Manifesting Clients Academy. I'm here today with Bessie Estanak Talk. Did I do it right? You did. Yay. Ah, myself on the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to say that again. I don't think I'm just, I, one time was really good. All right. So Bessie is the founder of the Women in so Soulful Harmony, which she shortens into WISH, W I S H, Women in Soulful Harmony. Harmony. It's taken me several years to realize that WISH <laughs> is actually the, what do we call that when it's the Ac acronym, uh, acronym. the acronym mm -hmm. for women mm -hmm. in soulful harmony. Folks, I have known Bessie for years <laughs> and she's been saying that, you know, that I see that her business is, it's like, wish with bessie and her website what's your website again bessie it's uh, it's actually i i it's wish with bessie.com there you go and <laughs> i've been seeing this and then i hear her talk about women in soulful harmony and i okay so years later i now get it all right Yay. but at least my brain worked one day <laughs> so let me tell you all a little bit about bessie we're going to be talking in just a minute about tuning into your soul during uncertain times and we'll, you know and some other stuff i'm really looking forward to this bessie's going to guide us in a meditation that i'm sure will be absolutely wonderful but before we step into that let me just tell you a little bit about what she does and who she is she is passionate about supporting successful women who wish <laughs> there's that wish word <laughs> <laughs> mind body spirit and soul alignment for their total life fulfillment yeah okay <laughs> that sounds good and bessie teaches women to learn to trust their inner light and sacred knowing so that they're able to navigate life stretcher stressors courageously and amplify their success and as I said before, I've known Bessie for years. Bessie is a sweetheart. She's a gentle soul. As you're going to meet and get to know her, I think you're going to love her as much as I do. So Aww, I'm happy okay. to be here with you. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> and I, and I just I, and I feel the same about you. So thank you. Oh. So I, I haven't been doing this before in these interviews. I want to remind the listeners to, to type comments as they listen, as things resonate with them, type something, say hello to us and engage with us. And we may not go look at them during the interview, but we'll definitely engage afterwards. So whether you're watching the replay or with us live, comment and so we can see what you're experiencing. But let's get started here. So Bessie. I want to start with what you're doing now, because I know you've done other things in the past that all influence what you do now. And I know that you're helping successful women achieve mind, body, spirit, and soul alignment, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to know what that actually means. Mm. Well, can I give examples of the women that I work with? Yes. Okay. So... Um, one that I'm thinking off the top of my head is a woman who works for a, a corporate, a corporation, and um, she was really feeling off kilter, like, especially with COVID happening um, and being cloistered, I guess you would say at home, mm -hmm. shelter in place. Um, it felt to her as if um, life was just totally off for her. And I think what was happening was that life was already off um, in her, her mind, really not feeling balanced. Um, and she really wanted to be able to learn tools on how to navigate um, her life, but especially during this time, because, you know, she was, you know, she's a very sociable person, um, really likes to be out talking to people, and she couldn't do that anymore. And uh, so, as a so I'm a hypnotherapist and energy healer and I you know um, I'm also a Reiki 
practitioner, I use a combination of all of my tools um, along with my past work as a, a therapist to be able to learn how to be able to look at, okay, what are the thoughts that are no longer serving you? Uh, what and where, because I'm into chakras also, I, I really love uh, looking at the chakras, uh, where in your body are you um, holding that stress? So for example, um, for her, one of them was her throat chakra, and she had a hard time speaking her truth because of some things that have happened in the past. So, you know, I've been working with her for mm, about six, seven months now, and where she is right now to where she was, was that she, she has um, a lot of tools in place to really be able to shift her mindset, to, to be able to uh, work towards her goals that she has as far as um, work, her relationship, um, her body, um, her relationship with herself, all these things combined together um, uh, has really helped her to feel just really better about herself and reaching the goals that she really wants for her mind, body, spirit, and soul. So does that answer the question? Well, it doesn't matter exactly if it answers the question. What I got out of what you said, because it's a great story about an actual example of working with someone and what I appreciated about what you said with regard to this particular woman is we're doing life and sometimes things aren't working right. And that might be that something, what you said, something might be going on in your head, something might be going on in your chakras. There may be something else going on. And so the way you work with people helps them at all those different levels mm -hmm. to actually come to a place where they're feeling better about themselves and what's happening in their lives and be able to respond more effectively, it sounds like. Right. And um, I think uh, also a first and foremost is in order to be really be able to tap into our sacred knowing or our soul or our higher self, there's so many different words mm -hmm. to it. It's important to really be able to learn the tools to slow down, mm -hmm. to relax, um, and to trust that there is uh, more to life than just this physical life. And that when you can tune into your inner knowing um, and trust your intuition, um, on on uh, what to, to what's happening in life and and really how to be able to respond to it differently, I think that your world opens up even in a bigger way because you're really trusting your sacred knowing. So that's one of the things that you're also helping your clients mm -hmm. to do is mm -hmm. to be able to access that deeper part of themselves or to trust it. There probably are, they probably wouldn't want to work with you, Bessie, quite honestly, if they didn't have some sense of that already. <laughs> yeah, but everybody's intuitive, you know, everybody and it's, it's you know, different levels of, uh, of that is, you know, I think we've all had different things happen in our life where it's like, oh, well, that's interesting. I, I just was just thinking about that. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely all intuitive it's, and it's all about, uh, I think, nurturing that. Uh, more so that you can be aligned with your soul as you are living your life. And I love that quote, we're spiritual beings living a human existence. Um, and so in order for us to really do our work and expand ourselves, we have to have a physical body <laughs> and live this life in order re to really tap into our spirituality and, and work that together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know you're planning on guiding us on a meditation. I'm wondering if there's any, it sounds like we're at a spot that we could probably do it pretty soon here because it sounds related to what you're just talking about. Is there anything you want to say about it before we jump in? Um, no, I think I love doing experiential work. So I think this would be a great time to, to do the meditation. Why not? Not unless you have any more questions for me. I do have more questions for you. I do. Okay. Well, let's, let me ask you one more question and then we'll see where we're at then. Okay. okay. So folks, we are going on a wonderful guided meditation and Bessie is going to take us on it, but you, 
first of all, you say that you work with successful women and that the woman you just described sounds successful. What, because she's working in a corporate job, but what does six, a successful woman mean I, to you? And I think really all women are successful. It's a matter of, you know, um, perspective. They may not see that they are, um, uh, but hmm. they are. And I really, I um, have this deep longing to really help women come from, go from here to here and go, yes. What I does that mean, go from here? Maybe their self-esteem is, is low. Maybe, um, but there's still maybe, um, for example, this gal, she's working in a corporation, she's successful. She's, you know, um, she's reaching her, um, her her goals to be able to get commission. You know, she, she has great um, clients that she has that she works with. That's successful. That is successful. It could be a woman who um, is a stay-at-home mom who is juggling all everything, especially now because of the shelter in place. Can you imagine? I mean, no. that's a lot. That's successful. That's successful to me. Um, how about a businesswoman who um, is who maybe had something else going on in their life that they're really wanting to be able to be able to um, build their business, uh, and they're taking some steps to be able to do that, or they already have a business that's doing well, um, but there's some nigglies maybe that are going on in their life because I think we all have nigglies. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's successful to me. Um, so I kind of see everybody as being successful. It's and it's that's a very positive perspective, Bessie. I appreciate. It, no, but it's that. true. It's true. I so mean, I'm going to yeah. say there are some people. Um, you know, I mean, we can look at people who are homeless, who maybe they've got some successes, but I wouldn't. I, I don't think they would. I think many of them would struggle with that. I think people on addicted to drugs, I think just to, just to counter your, everyone is That's successful, true. you know, right. Right. people who are dealing with mental illness, who not that you can't be successful with a mental illness, but who are really struggling with a severe condition, you know, that sort of thing. So I appreciate though, that what I'm also hearing you say, Bessie, is that within most of us, we're competent we're doing most women are doing a lot and are are amazing and there's just sort of those areas where some part of and your words were um bo mind body spirit and soul is out of alignment mm -hmm. right yeah and it's really looking at i i do a um uh, an assessment with them kind of like a, to see where in uh, their life they may be off balance and you know they can rate themselves and we start with that because I, I want to be able to start with where the client is and build from that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yep and you're right I mean I think with every entrepreneur we have an, a niche right and um, this is my niche Mm -hmm. uh, and this is who I want to be able to support because, um, you know, like I said, I really want to be able to help because I know that I'm def definitely still on my path, but I'm really, really passionate about helping women to just let's, yes, I can do this. I yeah, can, I yeah, can do this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. really go for it with the thing that's they, that next thing that they're going, going for. So I really appreciate that. Before we do the guided meditation, I know that you offer a, you call it a clarity call. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Or a client? discovery call. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So if someone was just here listening and experiencing your wonderful presence and feeling like, well, Bessie could really be the person who's going to help me do this, take, take myself to the next place. How do they connect with you to do that? Um, they can email me or go directly to my website. And there's a, um, a section there where you can just log in to be able to get that uh, set, uh, go into my schedule to set up an acuity session. So say, tell us again your website. 
So easy. Wishwithbessie.com. Wishwithbessie.com. W-I-S-H. With no Bessie.com. <laughs> and we now know that wish for women in soulful harmony. Okay. Yeah. Wish bessie.com and you know i came up with that name many years ago but if you yeah. think about it harmony is mind body spirit and soul alignment right yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yep I, I yeah been, it would have been too long to do <laughs> harmony <laughs> <is good. laughs> I, I, you know, but it, I, I, maybe, maybe there's got to be something that you can educate people so it doesn't take the rest of the other, well, maybe other people won't take as long <laughs> as me. I seriously, we're talking eight or 10 years I've been seeing Wish with Betsy, and I'm just now getting this. It's really hilarious. That's funny. Um, it is, it is, because I'm also, I, I, I think, oh, Wish, okay, people work with Betsy about their wishes, but that actually fits too. Because what you're talking about with regard to these successful women who you work with is they have wishes. They have some things that they want that you assist them in Mm -hmm. by helping them get in alignment Mm -hmm. so they can. Yeah, Mm -hmm. absolutely. I have on my website a a, a quote. Um, I don't know exactly, but I was watching TV one day. I think it was New Amsterdam. And... um, one of the doctors said this quote, and I'm going, oh, I love that quote. So I jumped out of my sofa and I just wrote it down. And I think it, I believe it is um, our deepest wishes create our reality. Mm. Mm-hmm. Our deepest wishes create our reality. Yeah. Yeah. And that That's really true. just kind of like, yeah, rung a bell. And I'm going, oh my God, I need to put that on my website. Mm-hmm. yeah yep. it's not what we think we want it's the deep deep wish is what we yeah. manifest right. or deep deep whatever I sometimes wish might not always be the right word for that what we create but on some level but the deepest it truly is anyway mm-hmm. that's cool Bessie yeah mm. yeah mm. oh my goodness so tell us about this journey you're going to take us on if you want to sure well, I, I am a meditator and I love to meditate many days. It's very short. Some are longer depending on what's going on in my life. And this meditation is actually, I was listening to it last night before I went to sleep. And so I, I like to listen to my own meditations. Why not? Right. I do too. I do yeah, too. <laughs> why not? And um, so it's, it's a meditation. It's actually because I'm a hypnotherapist. I, I mean, I call it hypnosis. You can call it visualization, but it's a way to really be able to relax your body, your mind, and your spirit. You have to be at that. Um, is it theta level? I think it's theta. I don't remember those terms, but I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. To really be able to be in a, a, a meditative state in order for your subconscious mind to maybe listen to hear those messages but the way I like to look at it is that when you are calm and in the present moment not thinking about anything else but really tuning into uh, your body your breath and just being present with yourself then you're calm enough to tune into your inner knowing and uh, because you know with any when you're meditating it's you have to be calm it's if you if your mind is kind of going all over the place uh it's hard to really listen to your inner knowing so i i like this meditation because for me you know when covid first started happening i was really feeling off kilter i don't know if you were but i for two weeks it was like what's going on you know, um, and, and it was, it took me a while to just bring myself back to being grounded enough to know that, okay, even though there are these things going on outside of me, I still have the ability to have control over my mind and the way I want to perceive things. And I have been able to, um, I sold a house (laughs) <laughs> during COVID. Um, yeah, I have moved forward in my business more than ever before. Mm-hmm. I'm taking much more aligned action because I'm listening to my soul. Um, mm-hmm. I bought a house. 
within a week. So I just, I didn't let anything hold me back. But of course, I took all the necessary precautions because you have to wearing your mask, you know, all that. But I, I really felt that, gosh, it's important for me to listen to what I can control, which is being able to have a you know positive perspective and really listening to my inner knowing going okay what's next even though this is happening outside i can still be creative and 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 do the things that i want to do or move forward in the life that i want to live so um because we can have control of that and that's nice to know mm -hmm. okay. yeah yeah <laughs> well this sounds great and it covid has been such a Topsy turvy experience here for many of us, and we're all do, doing our best to respond. And so, yeah, this is going to be one more thing to help us. And I really appreciate your call to listening. I'm you're taking me there already, Bessie. So let's do this thing because I'm so be all ready. Okay, by being with you. All righty. <laughs> So yes, I just want to say I love being with you in this energy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you'd like to close your eyes, Catherine, and anyone else who's listening or will be listening, just allow yourself to close your eyes and settle into where you're sitting or laying down. And then just focus on your breath. With your mouth closed, you can inhale through your nose and then exhale, mouth closed, still through your nose, exhaling. And then if there are any distractions that are happening outside of you, just allow them to be and just come back to you and tune into your breath and into your body, creating that intention that you are tuning inwards for the next 10, 15 minutes. So I'd like for you to first take some inhalations and exhalations, and let's do four of them. As you inhale for four, see your belly rise. And then you exhale for four counts. Allow your belly to collapse. Allow your shoulders to really let go and relax. Inhale again for four. And then exhale deeply, allowing your chest, your diaphragm, your belly to just relax and let go. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. Now let's take some time to connect with our pillar, I call it, where our chakras are. And so tune in to your soul star chakra, which is six inches above your head. And imagine a beautiful golden light right at your soul star chakra. Your soul star connects you to the divine, to all that is, to that infinite intelligence that we're all connected to. We all have this light. So tune into that golden light and really see it just shining so bright right at your soul star. And then bring that beautiful golden light to your crown chakra, the top of your head. Really see that beautiful golden light so bright. And it's coming down to your third eye, which is right in the middle of your forehead, right above your eyebrows. Maybe you can even see that golden light just really shine bright. And then bring that golden light down to your throat chakra, activating your throat. And then coming down to your heart chakra. And then your solar plexus, which is right below your breastbone. 
And then bring that beautiful golden light to your sacral chakra, two inches below your belly button. And then down to your root, which is the base of your spine. And then bring that beautiful golden pillar of light down six inches below your feet to your earth star chakra, which connects you to the mother earth. And then now imagine through your root chakra and your earth star chakra, this, these beautiful golden roots actually all going all the way down to the core of mother earth. And these roots can be thick and they could be wide. Just bring those roots down now to the core of mother earth. And maybe if you so choose, if you do see a beautiful crystal, wrap your roots around that crystal and really feel the denseness of your body, really feeling grounded into the core of Mother Earth. And now bring that beautiful crystal up all the way up through your pillar and let it land at your heart and then place your hands right at your heart chakra. And let's give beautiful thanks to Mother Earth and how she provides us to for with everything, the water, the sun, the food that we eat, our ability to be in this human body, walking this earth, uh, really living our purpose, really giving gratitude. And then staying at your heart center, bring that pillar of light up to your soul star and even beyond your soul star. And give thanks to the divine for you to be in this beautiful spiritual body that we can create, we can be intuitive, maybe psychic visions, maybe connecting with our um, angels, our ancestors, all of our guides, just really be in gratitude and really feel that gratitude in your heart. And breathe into your heart space, giving thanks to Mother Earth, giving thanks to the divine, giving thanks to yourself. And then you can place your hands on your lap. And now, I'd like for you to look up into the screen of your mind and the area just inside your forehead and imagine a beautiful golden door. The door is closed, but in a moment, I would like you to open the door and step through. And when you do, perhaps you can imagine yourself drifting, drifting down and down deeper and deeper into the most comfortable, relaxing feeling you have ever experienced. If you haven't already done so, push that beautiful golden door open. And then now float down deep, deep down to the very center and core of your being. For a few moments, just experience this exquisite feeling of total calm and deep relaxation. Every part of your body is just so calm and relaxed, calm and relaxed. There are no problems to solve here, no place to go, nothing to do but just relax and let go. So relax and let go and enjoy this wonderful, calm, relaxing feeling. In this peace and tranquility, you can experience a curious sense of anticipation. For you are on this journey today to connect with your inner knowing, your higher self, your soul, the part of you that knows everything there is to know about you. Some people call it the intuitive self. 
It can even pick up on knowledge of all life's experience simply by tuning into the universal vibrations of the collective unconscious and opening up to the impressions it receives. When you are in this relaxing space, the curious part of yourself can detach, ready to ask for and receive all the answers to whatever you would like to know. So bring your curious self and looking further around, perhaps you can notice a flight of stairs leading up to the special place where your higher self resides. The staircase is soft and fluffy, like clouds almost, and bathed with a beautiful, soothing golden light. And the staircase seems to just go up and up and up forever, almost as though it was leading up to another universe. As you place your foot on the foot first stair, it is as though gravity has left you and your body becomes instantly lighter. And you float up the stairs, ascending higher and higher. And it is such a wonderful feeling that there are no words to describe how it is. Perhaps on your ascent, you can notice other pure colors of light, which are even more vibrant than any you have ever encountered in your earthly existence. And the higher you go, the more comfortably relaxed you become. You are going higher and higher than ever before. And at times it is as though you are spirit only with no bodily encumbrances. So you're continuing to float up and up and you have almost reached the top of the staircase. And in just a few moments, you will arrive at your destination. As you approach the top of the staircase, you find that the colors subside and you are replaced and are replaced by a pure white light. This pure white light cleanses your spirit and protects you from any outside influences. The white light will remain with you until you have met with your soul, your higher self, and are ready to descend the stairs. And now, as you reach the top of the stairs, you arrive at a landing leading onto a long curved courier, cur corridor. You can sense that your feet are now touching the ground, but you still feel so light and floaty. Continue down the corridor to the next door ahead where you will find your higher self waiting for you. This is the door that leads to your superconscious mind, a sacred place that belongs to you and you alone. And now that you have found where it is, you will be able to return whenever you wish. The door opens easily for you there. You're sitting on the floor of your superconscious mind. And now your higher self, your guide, is stretching his or her hands, beckoning, ready to welcome you. You take your place on the floor just in front of your higher self, your soul self, and you hold out your hands. And as your hands meet those of your soul self, you can feel the instant connection and you experience a sense of elation. You are now connected to your soul self. So take a few moments to ask for any answers to some questions or a question that you have been feeling stressful about, especially during this time, these uncertain times of COVID. Despite what's happening in the world, our soul can guide us to a deeper inspiration to create forward movement that you probably 
been having those soul nudges about. So ask your question or questions and listen carefully to any answers that you receive. These answers may be given in verbal form or you may receive them as a thought transference, images or feelings, or simply intuitively knowing that this is the response you are looking for. If you've been experiencing stress or fear during these times, your soul offers you guidance and inspiration to feel totally safe and comfortable here. Questions you can ask may be something like, what is a first action step that I can take to move forward with? And you can fill that, maybe taking care of my body, maybe starting or building my business nurturing my relationship with my partner or self-care. So just take a few moments now. And I'll give you a few moments as you communicate and listen to what your higher self, your soul has to impart. And always go with the first impression you receive after each question, knowing that as you ask, you are answered. So now, Begin to draw this time to a close and thank your higher self, thank your soul. Perhaps what you have learned was already present in your heart. And if so, you can be reassured that your higher self was already doing its best to guide you and help you to reach a solution. Bid farewell to your higher self knowing that your visions and messages will become stronger and clearer each and every time you repeat this audio. So when you're ready, leave the room and find yourself back to the corridor of your mind, walking or floating toward the staircase. And begin to descend one step at a time until you find yourself back in the white protective healing light. A few moments later, you are back into the colors, going further and further and down and down and down. You are now standing at the bottom of the staircase, ready to return to the ordinary everyday world. The gravity has returned to your body and you now feel emotionally, physically, and spiritually whole. All the positive vibrations are merged within you and it is though you have been on a very long journey. And you did, it was a journey, journey towards enlightenment. Any questions or fears that you had have been resolved. All is clear and the path ahead is ready for you. Bring back with you all the knowledge, wisdom, guidance, and inspiration that you have received during this hypnosis experience. So take a moment or two to ground yourself. Feel the blood cursing, blood cursing around you, your heart gently and rhythmically beating your eyelids feeling lighter as you become fully oriented to your surroundings. 
when you're ready, I'm going to count the numbers from one to five. And when I reach five, you'll be fully alert and wide awake. Once you are back into this time and space, record your answers in your journal and notebook. Remember that it is important to take those action steps that your soul has inspired you to take one step at a time. With that soul inspiration comes action in order to move forward in your life with courage and strength. So release your anchors. Thank your soul for your connection today. And know that you can access your rootedness and your soul anytime that you wish. So one, you're slowly coming back now. Two, really feel your body where you're sitting or laying down. Three, you can maybe move your body around, wiggle your fingers and your toes and maybe move your head from side to side. Four, coming back even further and five, eyes wide open, wide awake, ready for a wonderful rest of your day. Mm. 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 Nice. Well, before Bessie and I chat a little bit more, I want to let folks know that the replay of this is going to be available on uh, YouTube. And yeah, so you can listen again and again as often as you want there. And I think Bessie also has one on her website where similar, mm -hmm. where you could get the replay of it. Mm -hmm. mm. How is that for you? Mm. It was very nice. Mm. Good. I really appreciate the imagery and the experience, the roots, meeting my soul. wisdom that came. What a nice practice, Bessie. Mm, good. I'm going to mm -hmm. close this window. Can you hear the music from my neighbors? I can hear something. And yes, if you'd like to close yeah. the window, that would be great. Let me do that. Yeah, let me do that real fast. It's not really that, that big of a deal, but I can imagine it's distracting for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, I invite anybody who just joined that joined us for that, whether you're watching the replay or live to share your experience in the comments as well. That was really lovely. Hmm. So is there anything else you want to tell us about that or about tuning into our souls during uncertain times? Hmm. I think it's important to know that fear, which I like to, and I love acronyms, <laughs> false expectations appear, appearing real, um, can really trip up our mind. Fear can really trip us up. And, you know, there's so many things that are going on with COVID and in the world that it's important to know that yes, we have to take precautions and we have to do what we need to do in order to feel safe um, and, and stay healthy. But it's really knowing that you have to limit what you see on social media and the news mm -hmm. because there's just, fear is to me feels like it's running just too rampant. And so, but still be an intelligent, um, um, what's the word? Be intelligent about what you're listening to, to really take those precautions, but continue to really go within more and more. And what I feel is important is that because we are made of this beautiful light, we are light beings and our soul is connected to this light, 
that the, the more that we can and strengthen our soul light, that you will you can feel more in control with yourself. And it really helps to um, know that when you can trust your inner knowing and trust your intuition about um, just everything in life, that it's a lot easier to maneuver through what's going on in the world right now. So, you know, for example, when I go outside, I rather than, oh no, I'm gonna catch COVID, you know, I mean, I think it's inevitable, but I'm healthy. I feel healthy and I know that I'm very strong that if I did, that I know that I can bounce back. I mean, it's like the flu. It's about, it's like, you know, all those for things. For some people. Right? Yes, for, for some, some people, people, yes. Yes, those are the who have Im compromised immune systems definitely have to take more precautions. But um, I, I know that it's important to go out and say, I'm healthy, I'm strong. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I eat well, I wash my hands, I, I, I do my socially distancing thing, but I don't go out into the world going, oh no, you know, oh no, what's going to happen mm -hmm. to me? Because that's only going to bring my vibe down and mm -hmm. make me more fearful. And so it's important to really strengthen our intuition and our light to know um, how to be able to access that more and more, because it, it feels better to know that you're in control of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that you're in control of your reaction to the situation is yes. what you mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's interesting i've i've managed my experience pretty well so most of the time i don't have i haven't had a fear response i did take my car in to get the oil changed and got a ride back to my house so in the car was this two strangers, the driver and the person in the back seat who was also getting a drive back. We were all wearing masks, but we were not six feet apart, which was mm -hmm. really probably the closest I've been with strangers for the most part since all this began. And my being went into fear. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised. So I, because I've been, and I think that that happened because I've just made choices to keep me from not having that experience but I also really appreciate what you're inviting us to do which is to know to not let that kind of a reaction rule our lives because I can imagine other people might be having living in fear and I'm grateful I'm not right yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yeah and it's it's great that you noticed that fear and you were able to shift it around and that's important yeah it took a little bit car. to shift mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it yeah. took I, I probably until i got out of the car <laughs> 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 i had to make jokes about it i mean i i like dropped my purse and i thought i lost my purse it was a very interesting experience to have because mm -hmm. i don't experience fear that much so it, it was interesting yeah but i thank you for your for the guided meditation for folks to use as a tool during this time, but also any time. I mean, it was a beautiful practice to tune into that deeper place within for guidance and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome. You're so welcome, Catherine. Mm -hmm. mm. So I want to remind everybody you can if you if anything about Bessie feels like she's the person who can t help you take yourself and your life or your whatever you're working on to 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 the next level, as she said earlier, that she loves helping people with. If you feel that connection with Bessie, because if you met her, you gotta love her as much as I do. I know you do. Um, go to wishwithbessie.com and she offers uh, complimentary clarity sessions just to have a conversation with her, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So reach, reach out to her if that's what you want. She also has a really great Facebook group. What's the name of your Facebook group for folks? Uh, Soulful Women Leaders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you'll, join soulful women leaders too she's got you know there's a lot of nice posts that 
that Bessie does really just stay connected with Bessie. She's good, good people, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Okay. And, 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 and yes, I would like to say that for sure. And, and I'm <laughs> grateful for you and grateful to be connected with you. Honestly. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So let me just say a few things before we wrap up. And this is most of our interviews are 30 minutes, but we this was so delicious and lovely. Uh, I thank you all for hanging in here with us. Uh, I appreciate you joining us for the Real Women, Real Purpose, this Real Woman, Real Women, Real Purpose talk show. As you can tell, Bessie and I are both real women. We're not yeah. some, yeah, we're tangible <laughs> and spiritual, <laughs> but we're not some like out there, like uh, Oprah level doesn't seem real kind of, <laughs> but thanks for joining us here live in the On Purpose Woman Global Community Facebook group. Tomorrow, Jenny Robertson is interviewing Jennifer Palmer at 2 p.m. Eastern about using catalysts, I'm sorry, using challenges as catalysts. And I will be back on Wednesday at noon Eastern to talk to author Doris Vilk about her hot and sassy books. Mm. For a list of all of our July and August Real Women, Real Purpose talk show topics, go to the On Purpose Woman magazine. Go to onpurposewomanmagazine.com. You will find a list within it. It's our, in our current issue. And if you love this interview and this meditation, it is going to be up soon within the next 48 hours in the On Purpose Woman Global Community YouTube channel. Please go to On Purpose, go to YouTube, type in On Purpose Woman Global Community and subscribe. And then you'll get the notification when our interviews go go on to it. They're not live, they're replays. All right. Beautiful. And then you can share it with your friends and post it and listen again and keep following us. So everyone, I will see you on Wednesday. Thank you again, Bessie. It was really a delight to be here with you. Thank you, Catherine. Take care.